Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we'll be taking a look at the woman's exclusive. These are the Air Jordan 1 Lows and this is in the dark gray colorway. Let's take a quick peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome in. Be sure to hit that subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Huge shout out to the Jordan brand family for sending these my way. Today we'll be discussing one of the coolest colors I've seen honestly on a woman's exclusive Air Jordan 1 Low, which is the dark gray. So we'll go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I styled them. Then we'll conclude with how much these are going for on the retail market. Let's jump right into it. For those of you who are looking honestly for a really just good classy looking color scheme on an Air Jordan 1 Low. I think this is probably one of my favorite I've seen. It does have a bit of a metallic -y hue, this nice kind of charcoal gray tone. At first I was confused because I wasn't sure if it was metallic -y, but then I started kind of just moving around the light and you can kind of see that there's a nice sheen to it. This is also a bit of a more eggshell finish and tone, or I guess off-white finish for the leather on the toe box because you can just really compare that to the midsole, which is a stern, uh, stark white and then as we work our way up to the laces we've got charcoal tone for the laces and then again that off-white finish for the nylon tongue and the jordan jetman logo is embroidered in black so let's take a look at those details then move along to the side panels All right, so wrapping around to the side panels again, we've got underlays of that off-white finish for the uh, leather, and then we've got overlays on the Nike Swoosh in the smooth black leather tone, and then we've got that nice gray and a metallic-y hue. And then on the back, we've got the Jumpman logo embroidered in the gray, which blends quite nicely into that metallic gray leather. And then we've got the same dual combination on the lateral side of the sneaker that matches the medial side. The interior is in black and white, and then we've got a satin finish in that gray hue hue to really match the leather perfectly. Then it's completed in a simple just white midsole and this nice dark gray for the outsole. All right so let's take a look at those last and final details then jump into size and fit. size and fit goes again this is a woman's exclusive so i stuck true size with a woman's nine and these fit me perfectly all right so now let's talk about styling again just a really easy color combination to style especially if you're somebody who doesn't want to match your typical black and white colorway i feel like this is a great alternative option for the first look i decided to keep it pretty simple with a nice leather jacket and then underneath i just wore a gray tee and then some nice wide leg denim pants Then for the 
next look decided to go with some black uh a black long sleeve maxi dress that uh definitely i feel like gave it a more monochromatic look and feel <music> final look decided to wear a striped cream top tuck that into some beige shorts retail goes these retailed at $115 all right everyone that is it for this unboxing and review if you joined this for the first time thank you so much be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out if you're not already subscribed to the channel and give this video a thumbs up my name is Marissa Hill this is Shay TV we'll catch you all next episode Bye.